Hello, welcome again to your Revit 2020 certification video by the CAD instructor. Um, I'm going to show you how to use section views. And as you see, I've already got one section view on here. Um, this section view goes all the way through the structure. They don't have to, though. Uh, to get a new section view, you just go up here into, uh, let's see, I'm actually in the View tab right now under the Create panel. You don't have to do it there, though. You can get it here, Section View, or you can go to Architecture if you happen to already be in Architecture or any other, any other tab. You can come up here to the very top, and you have a Section View up here. It's the same exact Section View tool. And you click on that, and, of course, you draw it through whatever you want to see in that view. Right now, I'm going to see the entire structure from one side to the other. But let's say I only want to see that piece of wall. Or maybe I want to see, well, let's see, here, see, there we go. Maybe I want to see a couple of walls and maybe this door. Okay. So now we have some section views. And you see too, that when I place the section view, I have some, um, some hidden lines and some grips around it. And this basically controls my depth. So I can pull this one down to a depth to where it's only seeing, well, let's say this far. Okay, uh, this one, if I click on it again, okay, I can pull its depth back, you know, to where it's seeing this far. This view, however, it's going all the way through. We'll just leave it like that. So let's look at this one. In order to get into the view to see it, there's two places you can do it. You can double click on this end to get into the view, or you can just go down here to sections and then click on the uh, expander button there to the left, and then you get section one, two, and three. So let's look at section one, and we do that by double clicking on that. And here we can see through the entire building from left to right, I think. Is that right? Yes. Um, no, I, no, that isn't. Or yeah, it is. There's the outside wall, I think. Anyway, you see what it is. It's just a section of the building, and typically you would use this to do some detailing in here to show people what they're looking at. Uh, so they can show more or less how things are assembled or how they are arranged. Okay, section two. That was the one where we drew just the little section over the wall. Um, and this would be for a wall detail. So we could, uh, you know, uh, show people and label everything that's on the wall and, um, you know, tell them about it, what material it's made of, how big it is, things like that. Uh, so they're looking at it and they can see exactly what it is that you're trying to convey to them. Uh, section three, um, as you can see, it's controlled by its left and right extremities um, there was really no other reason to draw that one other than to show you the ability of its control um, and of course you remember I cut it very short so we don't actually see the wall that is actually behind it on the other side of that section view okay but uh, section views uh, typically you use those to create details and things like that there are other ways to make details other than using section views but you'll always reference uh, that detail to like say this section view, you always use that cross reference to uh, get those to look at each other. So that's as simple as that. That's how you use section views. I can't think of anything else I would need to show you um, involved with section views. Well, other than in here, you too can also expand the uh, size and everything else. You can't expand the depth from here. Just the, the uh, you know, the left, right, horizontal, vertical, like that. And you can also do this. I forgot about this one. You can also split these views. So let's say I wanted to split uh, this view right here. Click on there. And it basically took out that middle view and gave me these two views. Okay. And, of course, I can even, well, I guess it won't let me highlight just one of them. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's what those are for. If you needed to split those uh, because they were too wide to fit on your paper, you would split them apart and show, you know, each side of it with some other documentation to so where everyone would understand what you did. So we can do it again, click on the lightning bolt there, and we'll get two more views right here. Okay, so that is finally everything involved with section views. Stay tuned for the next video, which will cover elevation views.